Well, currently we've got criteria that identify whether a lease should be in the operating or the capital category. So what happens in the proposed single approach? Well, the single approach that the GASB is proposing in this exposure draft really is a little bit different from the private sector that the FASB uh, standard has come out with. Right now, we have, you know, both sides, we have capital leases and operating leases. The FASB standard still maintains some of their complexion of operating and capital lease, whereas the GASB kind of got away from that and said, we're just going to treat all leases uh, pretty much the same. So that's a the single approach, single approach is really kind of a major difference between the, the GASB standard, well, proposed GASB standard and the uh, FASB one. So I guess the question is, to what extent is the guidance now finalized by FASB appropriate for governments, or will it need extensive modifications? Well, I, I don't, th I think the, the single approach will be the most significant modification. I don't think you're going to see too many more modifications after that. Uh, the big concept with these standards is your obligation under a lease is pretty much the same as it is under a loan. So leases are really ways to finance use of an asset. Um, so right now under uh, current standards, the liability for that you incur under a lease is not recorded on your books, whereas a loan it would be. Um, so these, both of these standards really force you to record that liability on your books.